Praise be to the Father. I wasn't planning on making another video so soon, especially to Elizabeth. But something come to me that I remembered what you said. And the re reason that you told your people if they have to be chipped, they have to do whatever they have to do to feed their families. And that really bothered me, that, that you of all people would say that. But remember, remember back in 2004 when you were calling me so much and asking me to pray for you and you were continuously telling me all these stuff about your ex-husband and why you were running and why you were scared because he was threatening to kill you. But remember how you said that one night him and his girlfriend supposedly held you down while he inserted a chip into your arm. And when I come up there to see you during 2005, you showed me a spot on your arm where you said that he inserted a chip and that, that he could track you wherever you went. And we, we both prayed mightily about it. And what I saw, I, I, I really believed you had a chip in your arm. Is that why you, you encourage your people to go ahead and it's all right? It's, it doesn't matter because why this would happen, why this would come about, but is it because you have already been chipped? I mean, it's just a question, but it really come to me when we're talking about what you said about the warning with the food stamps and the chipping and stuff. And you would say something like that. I'm just like going, I, I remember you very plainly. And, and you'd say that you, you could feel it, him tracking you. But was that a lie or, or that spot on your arm? I don't know what it was that was underneath your skin, but what, what was you really chipped? And do you have a chip now? And uh, does it get humming vibrations like you know you said that you could feel it? I just feel like it's necessary to to ask you about this because there is something very wrong here very wrong and very wrong in the way you're leading your people because you've already been chipped haven't you And there's more to this than what meets the eye. I, I don't know why. I, I, 
I just, I feel this so strongly. There is more than meets the eye of what you're doing and what you're trying to do. But Elizabeth, I do pray for you. And if you have a chip, I would really, really sincerely see about how to get it out. If you can, I know that they claim when they put it in that it, it there's some that, that can just attach in a way that you can't get it out. I, I don't know. But I really do remember that plainly. Of you telling me that and even seeing where something was and you okaying it you okay it where everybody else in the world is saying oh no don't 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 you're okaying it because you feel secure with it because for some reason, somehow, you were chipped, or you really believe you were chipped, because I don't know what I, I saw on your arm. I know I saw something with a great possibility. And... I just, I, I almost, I'm I almost speechless. I really am. After I really got remembering back some of the things you said to me, some of those things you've changed. Like um, when you, your mother, and you had to be in an orphanage or something. Um, that's not all the story you told me. In fact, it's getting where I can't hardly keep up with your stories. It's so changeable. And we used to talk a lot. But Elizabeth, it's an urgency. It is an urgency. I don't, I don't know why it, I feel this urgency that you need to really get a hold of yourself. Because um, if that's what your husband put in your arm, they know where you are. The, the government can pinpoint you right down to the T where you're at. Or have you forgot that? Um, And if you were promised to Satan, like you said, I know he don't let go of what he wants so strongly. If your mother was of the occult, and like you told me she was, and your ex-husband, and um, you know. I don't know. It's strange that more and more my eyes are open to to you, who you are, because with the love that I had for you and the, and the respect I had for you, it was like a cover that covered my eyes where I didn't see the true you. I, I wanted to see the loving, kind, gentle woman that when we sat and we held hands and prayed, I I really wanted to concentrate on that. And now as I go farther back in time and, and can look at things rationally and intercept those things that we talked about, and the chip was a big thing because you talked about it a lot because you said it would burn and it would 
hum and I, I don't know you'd say all, all sorts of different things about it and um, and Elizabeth with this thing about YouTube going on you know I don't know how much money that you have wasted on a lawyer being it wasn't your money anyway being it's all those people out there giving you donations and stuff that pouring their hard-earned money into you to sit back and hire a lawyer which that case ain't gone anywhere nowhere and it won't because you disobey God and did what God says not to do is to take your brothers to court and whether you like it or not, we're brothers and sisters. You can scream all you want and stomp up and jump up and down and say, You're not my sister. You're not my sister. Well, yes, I am. I'm of the Lord. And I am your sister in humanity, made by God. Same one that made me, made you. So, just think about it, Elizabeth. Nothing that you prophesied has come true, really true now, about the storms, the tornadoes, the volcanoes. Every two-bit prophet around prophesies those things. I'm, I'm sorry to put it like that, but every prophet can prophesy that's a sure thing and it's right out of the Bible I could prophesy all day long how God's going to send tornadoes and destructions and volcanoes and and all of these kind of storms well it, it's easy it's not really prophesying because those things happen every year some is worse some is not but Yeshua said things would like that happen. I'm, when I say things like that's going to happen, it's not a real prophecy because I'm just said, telling you what the Bible has already told me to tell you. Now, if I happen to say, tomorrow I'm going to pray that the sun will set one hour later, than it usually does, a and it happens, then you say, yep, she prophesied that and that happened. But I I'm talking, I'm talking, Elizabeth, about some things that you're leading your people into. And I can see why you would see it's okay, because you've been carrying the chip around for quite a while. I know ever since 2004, probably more before then. You're beginning to really lead your people down the wrong path, Elizabeth. You used to scream before at point of time you would say no one even take the flu shot because they could put chip in you. And I'd say, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, it doesn't matter you about that. They can't sneak it in on you. You have to knowingly accept knowingly accept that mark. You can't you know, they can't just trick you and But when you, after you told me about your ex-husband putting that into your arm, and I almost forgot about it until now. But I'm asking you, truly, truly, did your husband chip you? 
do you have a chip in your arm? Does it hum? Does it, you feel it tremble like you told me? Do you feel like you're getting message of some kind from that thing? Um, all sorts of weird kind of things. But I, I'm truly wanting to know now. I want to know. Are you chipped? And tell the truth. Did your husband hold you down and chip you? You said he did. You had me to pray with you over it many a time in tears. In fear you would be. So, Elizabeth, tell me. I'm asking, please tell me. Do you have the chip? Was you chipped? And where do you stand? I'm praying for you, girl. I'm praying for you. But I don't know where you're going. I really don't. So may God forgive you, for you really, truly do not understand what you're doing. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen.